ultra-processed foods and health. The truth about ultra-processed foods. It's cheap, attractive and convenient, and we eat it every day, it's difficult not to. But is ultra-processed food making us ill and driving the global obesity crisis? The truth of the matter is that we are a society that like never before, are constantly in a hurry and sometimes we find it difficult to be able to sit down and prepare a meal with fresh ingredients and end up mostly eating on the go because of convenience. Food processing is a vital part of food production and unless you grow your own food, chances are that everything that you consume may be processed to an extent. However, food processing has paved way for ultra-processed foods which now account for more than half of all the calories eaten in the UK and other countries are fast catching up. Ultra-processed foods are processed in ways that go far beyond cooking or fermentation, and they may also come plastered with health claims and are now simply part of the flavor of modern life. These foods are convenient, affordable, highly profitable, strongly flavored, durable, accessible, highly, or ultra-palatable, often habit-forming, relatively cheap, and heavily marketed and often aggressively marketed as healthy options, and on sale in supermarkets everywhere. Ultra-processed foods are made mostly from substances extracted from foods, such as fats, starches, added sugars, and hydrogenated fats and typically, Ultra-processed foods contain little or no whole foods but are also generally higher in salt, sugar, and contain artificial additives. Ultra-processed foods include ready-to-go foods such as chicken nuggets, fish and chips, confectionery, chocolate, cookies, among others, however, there are also other foods that can be classified as ultra-processed foods, and they include one, breakfast cereals. Many cereals and breakfast drinks that are marketed as healthy are ultra-processed. They can contain maltodextrins, processed proteins and fibers, and colors. 2. Protein and muesli bars and balls. Despite the healthy hype, many of these are ultra-processed, containing processed fibers and proteins, invert sugars, sugars modified through an industrial process, and non-caloric sweeteners. 3. Plant-based milks. Many dairy alternatives contain emulsifiers, vegetable gums and flavors. Not all brands are ultra-processed so check the ingredients list. 4. Breads. Some packaged breads contain emulsifiers, modified starches, starches altered through industrial methods, and vegetable gums. They're usually the plastic wrapped, sliced and cheaper breads. 5. Yogurts. Flavored yogurts often contain additives like thickeners, non-caloric sweeteners or flavors. 6. Meal bases and sauces. Pre-prepared pasta and stir-fry sauces typically contain ingredients such as thickeners, flavor enhancers and colors. 7. Processed meats. Packaged cold meats may have emulsifiers, modified starches, thickeners and added fibers, making them ultra-processed. 8. Margarine. The way margarines and non-dairy spreads are made, 
by hydrogenating the vegetable oils, and the additives they contain, such as emulsifiers and colors, make them an ultra-processed food. So are ultra-processed foods bad for your health? With their long shelf life, ultra-processed foods are designed to be microbiologically safe. The question is what happens to our bodies when ultra-processed foods become as prevalent or more prevalent as they are now. Ultra-processed foods have been shown to affect the brain the same way illicit drugs affect the brain and can result in addictions. Food that is processed contains additives and no one knows the cumulative effect of these additives. Some food additives can also result in allergic reaction whilst some additives have been linked to hyperactivity in children. Often times consumption of ultra-processed foods can displace or replace healthy food intake and this result in excess accumulation of body fat and consequently can result in obesity and overweight with time. It is now well documented that ultra-processed foods are linked with a range of poor health outcomes including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Additionally, ultra-processed foods have been linked to cancer which has been explained in detail in the document that I will link in the description box below. How can you minimize the intake of ultra-processed foods? Eat whole minimally processed foods. Aim for a balanced diet that includes fiber which is good for the gut. Make healthy swaps e.g. instead of cereals that are highly processed, opt for oat porridge which has just oats and is full of dietary fiber and beta-glucans which can lower cholesterol levels, or go for plain yogurt that does not contain many additives. Simple sources you can make at home with ingredients like canned or fresh tomatoes, vegetables, garlic and herbs are minimally processed. Replace packaged processed meats with alternatives such as cold roast meats or chicken instead. Do you consume ultra-processed foods? Are you willing to make healthy swaps for a better health? Please feel free to leave your comment below. Thanks for watching.